Just when you finally get used to having a little bit of peace and quiet, all of a sudden, before you know it, the rats come scurrying out from underneath the woodwork again. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy. I don't know. At this point, I'm, I'm getting less and less infuriated with this harpy shrewd as fraud Kara cunt smell 100% because the more that she just keeps exposing herself the way that she uses her tactics of trying to be all sneaky and slick and conniving and doing all sorts of rewriting of history ex expecting that either nobody's following what's been going on or that they haven't been paying close attention and so nobody's really watching carefully but when you get to the point where you just pull this stuff back to up to her and remind her of reality she always tries to run back does damage control or at least tries to and she comes up with new and modified stories to something that was originally one thing one minute but when she gets called out on it or she uh, gets exposed as being a liar and a fraud and a coward then it becomes more and more of like she just loses track of everything that she's ever said or anything that she's ever done or she feigns ignorance as I never did that sort of a thing and then you remind her hey um I know you want to forget but hi remember this and you wave something up in her face just to remind her of who she was and what she's always been all about now I think this woman's actually imploding because little by little She's starting to let little nuggets of the real truth come out, and some of her real character is starting to show. But see, she still doesn't go all uh, hot-headed and bombastic, which is what she's expecting me to do all the time, because I guess that's part of the way she gets her kicks, is if somebody's yelling at her, then um, she feels justified or she feels vindicated, or that she'll garner more sympathy or more people will see her arguments as being more valid because see she's calm and collective she's under control she's just talking nice and calm and prim and proper even though she mangles the English language but that's another thing but here comes General Backlash he's rolling and rolling and, and he's banging his fist and he's elevating and getting emotional and, and so he's off his rocker and he's losing his faculties and so he's he's just showing himself that he 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 he's, he's, he's you know, so that's her tactic. She's trying to make me look like I'm the blithering idiot that I'm just on some high-strung emotionalism that's just ranting and raving just because I get kicks from ranting and raving. As opposed to understanding that, well, hey, well, number one, people have a right to get indignant when you spread lies and false rumors about them. I apologize for that rude disruption, but it seems like any time and every time I try to get up in front of this thing, uh, some call always has to keep coming in or some truck has to pull up or somebody has to walk in on me or some other thing that demands my attention has to pop up or that gets in the way of messing up my audio and what so hey who so to get back on trying to pick up where I left off if I can gather my thoughts here I was essentially accusing Kara of using um, Scientology spokesperson tactics where they put on this calm and um, hypnotic snake charm on uh, the person that they're egging and goading but while they're putting on that performance they're deliberately trying to push the other person over the edge so they won't let them speak or they won't let them complete a sentence or they'll take something that they said and totally twist it and totally distort it or they'll tell an outright lie or they'll put on this pretense that they don't know what you're talking about and they're just waiting for you to blow up and Kara is a grand master at that little sneaky tactic among other sneaky tactics which she keeps getting called out on one of her main ones of course being that rather than being a real woman about defending your position taking a stand on your own principles and having enough character and backbone and pride about your particular points of view you know if you have such strong beliefs or such strong opinions you know the average person would actually present themselves and whatever it is that they had on their mind from their own platform in their own name but Kara likes to do this surreptitious sneaky eely stuff where she'll keep this mock channel up of me which is a total diss channel and whenever she has anything that sideways that she wants to say about general backlash or kernel of wisdom she won't say it from her channel and if even if she does say it from her channel then what she'll do is that 
she'll find some random video where either myself or Colonel of Wisdom and sometimes where neither of us actually have any sort of involvement in. But she'll just drop her little hit and run comments on something that's totally unrelated to anything that's based on the topic at hand, thinking and expecting that we're not going to catch wind of it or the person that she's dissing is not going to catch wind of it. But of course, as soon as she gets called out on it, then she puts on her little act again, trying to play the innocent victim and trying to make it seem like, y'all are stalking me, y'all are harassing me, why, why don't y'all get off my case, y'all are just... In fact, that's the, one of the latest things that she's still trying to claim. She actually took one of my audio snippets where I had stated that I was going to be watching her, that I was going to be making sure that I knew what the heck she was saying out there. And of course, naturally, she takes that and she twists it around and it's like, he's stalking me. See, he admitted that he's stalking me. Uh, you want to listen to that upload again where you took that audio? Because I had to tell you once before in another upload about yourself, about keeping things in their proper context. And so by taking things out of context, all she wants to do is just focus on, see, there he does. He admits it. He admits it right there. Well, golly wee, gee whiz. Uh, you know, you can actually show somebody out of the Bible, the very Judeo-Christian Bible that so many of these religious folks love to run around and swear that they believe in. You can actually use that, and by using the exact same tactics, you can prove that the Bible says that there is no God. Because it says it right there in the book. There is no God. That comes straight out of the Bible. So see, when you take things out of their proper context, you can say pretty much any damn thing you want to say. And that's what Kara's doing. So when she gets confronted with her lies, when she gets confronted with all of her BS and it's revealed to the public, shown point for point where the slander comes from, how she's spreading it, the dirty double dealing tactics that she uses in order to do it, how she takes things out of context, how she twists and distorts, and how she always runs around with tears in her eyes crying and claiming to be the little innocent victim. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything to anybody. I didn't say anything to anybody else. And of course now, how many videos has she done since this uh, little thing on Bone Picker's channel? And again, see, that's what I mean. This whole thing about Kara coming in and starting all this stuff up again has absolutely nothing to do with the topic at hand on Bone Picker's channel. Because see, what had happened was that Colonel came in the video was about Soul Sister, and in reading the comments, Colonel of Wisdom decided, as she usually does, that she wanted to comment on certain comments that were being left in that forum on the topic at hand and putting her own interpretation on things. And in this instance, Colonel of Wisdom presumed some things about Soul Sister, and they got into a bit of a heated back and forth where Soul Sister essentially said, look, you're wrong. You need to be straightened out on my situation and what's all involved. You know, don't make those kinds of presumptions about me. And after a little bit of lobbying back and forth, Colonel reeled herself in and she acknowledged, yes, okay, I apologize. I'll cede to your explanation about things. However, I do want to continue on talking on this particular subject that relates to the subject matter at hand, and it would have been all fine and good and dandy until pure butterball spirit came along, and she decided that she wanted to stir up the pot a little bit by trying to compare the back and forth that, sh that Soul Sister and Colonel of Wisdom was doing with what Colonel of Wisdom did with I say this with herpes and, and see, this is how nasty she is, this is how she starts up shit, this is how she keeps shit going. Uh, how do you keep shit going when the person you're making the accusation of starting the shit in the first place actually reeled herself in and said, okay, mea culpa, I concede, I gotta eat a little bit of crow because I went a little bit too far ahead of myself? That's not keeping shit stirred up. That's saying, hey, I want to be correct. And once she and Soul Sister got on that level of correct, somebody had to come in and start stirring up the pot. And then, of course, here it all comes now. Everybody now started talking about Cunt Breath 100% where she was nowhere anywhere remotely into that conversation or had anything to do with her whatsoever. But because a couple of bitter shrews decided that they wanted to stir up the pot or keep it stirred up, let's talk about how much of a troll Colonel of Wisdom is and how she goes after people and here are some of the people she's gone after and she's gone after them so much that she even got them shutting their channels off which is what got me digging into Chris every day and what was at that time my original commentary before I found out about this thing in Bone Pickers section which is related to a lot of that same attitude about supposedly uh, people getting run off and how uh, these poor innocent people were just uh, harassed and stalked and trolled just because you got a couple of evil people 
people out there who use military insignia who just like going out after people and shutting them down. Ooh, you know, how evil and vicious we are. But see, Kara didn't come anywhere near that conversation until pure butterball spirit decided that she wanted to stir up the pot with that stuff. Another one of whom I refer to as the Fugtastic Four. And we've all seen what a piece of work pure butterball spirit T. Weedledum really is. I mean, this tramp is so nasty and vicious and vile that once she really starts showing her ass, she'll run back in a heartbeat and start deleting all of her comments. But see, it wasn't until these skanks came in and started daisy chaining one another that Kara decided to come out of obscurity and start launching her um, unique perspective, as it were, on anything and everything pertaining to Kara. And still, as always, trying to portray herself as the darling, demure, innocent victim who did nothing to earn all the stinging red ass that she's been getting. And in doing so, always running back to the same old lies and forgetting what she said earlier. Because even though she thinks she's telling the same story, if you follow the history and you track it down, you notice all the little subtleties and all the little uh, manipulations and all the little inconsistencies and all the little contradictions of things that she said earlier now that she's bringing up something new. Oops, you said it that way. Hey, I thought it was this way. Remember when you said this? That'd do things like pulling up the audio or showing everybody the timeline of events, essentially telling her, look, see, you can say pretty much anything you want to, but I've got the evidence to back me up. And whenever you come sideways a kernel of wisdom, she's got evidence to back her up. Because I told you, I don't like it and I don't appreciate it when people lie on me. Which is the main reason I've become so long-winded in responding to this freak. Is because I'm too busy digging up the evidence that exposes her ass. Not with anything that I've said or that somebody else said or that was said in conversation between other unrelated people. No, I just come straight out and I say, hey, do you remember when you said this? Here's your words in audio. Here's your words in typed text. Got anything to say now? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. They, they, put, they read something else into it. Just like she's trying to do as, as far as uh, when this whole thing got started. If you listen to her last upload on her general fat ass channel, since all of her public activity wants to be done on general back ass, okay, fine. I'll just start referring to you as general fat ass then. Since you don't like cunt liquor 100% anymore, okay, general fat ass. You said in your latest trying to escape video that when you put yourself into this whole situation, it was just an empty comment that you made on I Say This With Herpes channel. When she called General Backass and Colonel of Wiz Dumb the same people using a voice changer, all I said was LOL sad. Uh, no. And I've already mentioned this earlier, but since it obviously bears repeating, Here's exactly what you said. Now, could this be misconstrued as um, just having a little fun comment in ignorance? Yeah, it could. Were it not for the fact that I had to remind you yet again that you knew who I was before General Backlash. You and I had had our butting of heads back when I was still only Kid Brother is watching. <laughs> And when you were still calling yourself Caramel 100%. Remember that? Of course you remember it. But because you took your channel down and you covered over all the evidence, you think nobody remembers. But see, I remember. And so do quite a number of other people remember that you and I had interactions. And that even then you were acting and behaving like the insufferable bitch. The only difference was at that time, you just essentially took your ass lickings and then you went on about your way. This did not become a battleground of warfare to you until I pulled Colonel of Wisdom along and said, let's be a tag team partner. Because you go around trying to tell this lie that B. Val didn't say anything about black women. She wasn't, she wasn't confronting black women on being irresponsible when she was B. Val Chan. Yes, she was. Which is precisely why I went to her and I said, I like the way you operate. I like the way you handle yourself in these online forums. I like the fact that you have a backbone that you will stand up to all these disrespectful and hate-filled missiles that keep getting tossed your way simply because you, as a responsible, no drama, no baggage, and I dare say, attractive young black woman, so naturally you're going to get the hate 
but the fact that you can stand up to this kind of pressure where so many others before you have fell by the wayside. We need more voices like yours. Unfortunately, most of those voices came and went. As soon as the pressure got a little too tough for them, they decided to throw up their hands and just backed away. And I saw that B. Valchan was not like that. That she knew how to stood her ground and she did so with dignity, with strength, and with consistency. See, she never wavered unless she got called out on something where she was absolutely wrong about it. Sometimes she was stubborn and bullheaded and say, well, no, that's my viewpoint on a matter. That's what I believe and I'm going to stick to it. But other times, unlike most people, she would acknowledge, yeah, okay, maybe I need to rethink that or maybe I need to modify this position in order to uh, have a better argument, which was another thing that made me respond to her as B. Valchan. Because it's very rare that you will find a person who is willing to actually allow somebody to cause them to look at themselves in the mirror and realize that the other person pointing out their faults and their flaws have a legitimate argument as like, yeah, okay, I need to reassess myself and what I'm doing because I'm like that. So naturally, I'm going to gravitate towards somebody else who's of that same character. You know, remember that word, character? But I warned B. Val from the get-go, if you agree to do this, and especially, especially after I make it obvious that you're going to be connected with me in some way, get ready for the hellstorm, because it will come your way, where you're going to get classified and brutally assaulted as being a black woman basher. But of course, you had to do the ultimate evil and be a black woman to actually call out black women in their ratchetness. Because you see, black sisters are supposed to stick together, the sister circle, or as uh, I say this with herpes, is calling it the black YouTube union. You know, we black girls, we always got to crap on black men. That's, that's our number one. Yeah, we will go around and we'll talk about we want solutions for the black community. But of course, all the solutions you ever keep coming up with is black men aren't living up to this. Black men aren't living up to that. Black men are failing at this. Black men are failing at that. Black men hate this. Black men hate that. And nobody disputed any of those arguments. Nobody at any time ever heard me say, hey, black men are just pure and innocent. You know, we're just men of character that can do no wrong. And it's these black wenches out there that are the problem. And they're the only thing that needs to be fixed. They need, they need to catch up with us. Ain't nobody ever heard me say that, including you, uh, General Fatass. Although she likes to go running around talking about, he never says anything about black men. All he does is just, he just beats up on black women. And anybody and everybody who's ever listened to anything that I've ever uploaded will tell you that's a bald-faced lie. Or in her instance, a bald-headed lie. Because see, she wants to control and she wants to dictate who's allowed to say what in what forum. So much so now that she's going all paranoid now, believing in her exchanges with Colonel of Wisdom, starting to talk about things like YouTube is her house. And that she's paying closer attention to Colonel of Wisdom because uh, she's coming into her house and trashing up her house. So I got my eye on you. Hmm. Gee, that sounds like stalking, doesn't it? That if you're going to be paying closer attention to somebody for coming into what you call your house. And not only coming into your house, but dictating, leave my subs alone. Stop interacting with the people that I interact with. As though she owns these people. I thought slavery was abolished in 1863, if I'm not mistaken. And what is this, 2013? And so you're going to proclaim in a public forum that you own a certain clique of people. And of course, she still keeps trying to perpetuate that old lie of hers where it's like, they're stalking me, they harass me, they keep tracking me down, they keep tracking down my subs, they keep finding out who we're getting involved with and who's up at, uh, number one, that little snippet of mine that you put up on your little video where I acknowledged that I'm watching you and I'm paying close attention to your activity. As I was trying to say earlier, put it back in context. The context was whenever you start spreading public lies and public rumors, public innuendo and publicly slandering me or those whom I institute a friendship with online and you're going to expect just to get away with it without anybody coming back and setting your ass straight. That's what I was talking about. That's when I was telling you that I'm watching and listening to your every word, that I'm snapshotting and photo documenting everything, that I'm taking your own words, anything that you say in a recording, I'm going to pull it right down to my hard drive because the time is going to come when I'm going to throw this stuff right back into your face and I'm going to do it publicly just so everybody gets a sense of who you really are. 
And see, I figured you would have learned that lesson the last time and when you ran away and put your channel on private. Because as a result of me showing everybody exactly who and what you were, you started losing support. Go back to the expose video, Superman vs. the Fugtastic Four, where I essentially called you and your cronies out by you firing all your ammunition, which all turned out to be rubber bullets. And then when you realized you didn't have anything left to shoot at Superman because lies don't penetrate them, just like in the old George Reeves TV series, once they were all out of bullets, they hurled the empty gun at Superman's chest as their last ditch effort. And the empty gun being hurled in this instance comes in the form of nothing but ad hominem attacks and swipes. Because when you realize you've got nothing else that you can try to distort, when all your lies get called out and exposed for what they are, the only thing you have left is to throw ad hominems. Talk about how somebody's mentally ill or how they need to be on their meds or uh, get off of YouTube. Nobody wants to hear your psychosis. But as that old saying goes, old habits die hard. And so, once the little shitstorm got started up on Bone Picker's commentary thread, again, totally distracting away from anything and everything that that video upload that he had posted was trying to focus upon, and then all these rabbit frothing mouth shrieking harpy shrews decided to come in and take it in a completely different direction just because they don't like Colonel of Wisdom because she's a black woman who calls out black women's ratchetness. Then General Fat Ass, a.k.a. Cunt Breath 100%, decided yet again to show how much of a coward that she was by dropping all of her diss and by trying to cover her tracks with more of her lies and doing it from a diss mock channel not having enough ovaries about herself to show that she was a real woman by actually doing it from her own channel nah that would be too much like courageous and like a uh, character so again as is your forte you got slippery as an eel with it and tried rewriting history again after I thought you had already learned your lesson about that, but okay, I get it. Sign of insanity. Keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. So not only are you showing yourself to be insane by doing that, but you're also showing yourself to be insane by some of the latest text comments that you've been leaving, which emphasize or expose your paranoia. You see, I told you, it was only a matter of time. What is that I always keep saying? You let people talk long enough eventually they will show you who and what they really are. Now see, I won't go quite as far as Colonel of Wisdom will, because see, she thinks you're absolute nutters. I mean, literally, she thinks that you have a serious mental condition. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but give it a little bit more time, I could probably make that same assessment myself. Just let you talk long enough, just let you keep going on, just let you keep shooting yourself in the foot and exposing yourself. Eventually, I may get right up there with her. Because we already know that you're bitter and angry. That much is a given. But seeing what draws you out and what you do once you're drawn out, because remember, I already called it, I recognize you as a masochist. And in a sense, that could be translated as an indication of a mental disorder. So I don't know yet. With me, the jury is still out on that one. But if anyone else wants to make that assessment, you have my blessing. Because the way she keeps handling herself, it would seem that she truly is playing the part. But what I know for sure, outside of being angry and bitter, is that she's jealous of women like Colonel of Wisdom. Not so much for her viewpoints. I mean, her viewpoints could matter squat. But see, the thing is, general fat ass and those who rally around her, if you ever notice, they all share something in common. They're not much to look at. And whenever they want to say, why do you keep obsessing on somebody's looks? Look in the mirror. And then look at Colonel of Wisdom. People have seen images of Colonel. And yet, any time she's ever shown herself online, look at the comments she receives, particularly from black men. Just go ahead, look at some of them, and then compare that to some of the comments that you receive. Oh, that's right, you don't receive comments like that, except from this one simp named Soy Miguel. And then again, you got Chris Everyday, who's essentially just simping up the single mothers because he thinks that's the easiest way to make himself look like a hero. Just like that simptastic, uh... I, I'm drawing a blank, I don't remember his name. You know, that guy who went up there in front of that little classroom of these fat, dumpy black women giving this long, poetic platitude talking about 10 things I want to say to the black woman and all he was doing was just simping up to them and gassing their heads up and they, ooh, ah, ooh, uh-huh, ooh, make my panties cream some more. But I bet you at the end of that performance, he didn't get one, not even one sniff of pussy. Because they knew what he was doing. You know, same sort of thing. 
But see, that's the only attention you and your type can actually acquire because you knew that if you had to compete on an even playing field, you'd get bypassed each and every time. Which is why y'all got upset when she started in interacting with uh, Ms. Jumbo Jack Treasure. Because Colonel of Wisdom would dare to tell fat women, stop making excuses. Hey, I shed 80 of my own pounds. What's your excuse? Oh, glandular condition or uh, it's something that's genetic. It's in my genes. Hey, I've been a big girl my entire life from the moment that I can actually remember. I've always been a big, heavy girl. But I had some changes in my life and I had some support from somebody who actually cares about me and cares about my health and my appearance. And suddenly, the fat girl who was always a fat girl who went through her entire life believing that I can never become slim and trim. Ugh, it's a miracle! From close to 220 pounds with lifestyle changes, 140 pounds! But see, black women hate other black women to have success stories. And they especially hate it because now that puts them on the stand. Now they've got a reminder that you can make all the excuses that you want to. And see, that's why I say they're jealous of Colonel of Wisdom and women like Colonel of Wisdom. Because she's that constant reminder that get, keeps getting thrown in their face that I can stop making excuses. I can make changes. I can do something better with myself. And I can be well received for making those positive changes. But see, these are the types who get off on the negativity. They want to keep this chip on their shoulder. They want to have the storm cloud constantly brewing over their tops of their skulls because this is what gives them a sense of empowerment because when it comes down to the real truth of the matter which means hey if we have to compete on an equal level playing field we just might get bypassed so better to not make the changes at all and still be bypassed so that way we can have a convenient excuse for why we're bitter and angry because we're getting bypassed that's what it really comes down to. That's why if anybody looks back at my history with these frauds and these charlatans and all these harpy shrews, they never, 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 for as many times as I've interacted with some of them or some of their friends, they never came after me like a mad hornet's nest like they're doing now until I welcomed Colonel of Wisdom into my stable and I said, let's do this together. Let's be a team in the manner of Statuesque and Humble Queen or Sergeant Willie Pete and Captain Solo or the boys of black men vent. Because as that saying goes, there's power in numbers. General Fat Ass knows this. That's why she's surrounding herself with creeps and with nasty shrews like Spanish hag and I say this with dog cum on her lips and pure butterball spirit and so many of these other nasty vicious cows. That's why Cunt Breath 100% aka General Fat Ass pounds her chest and pontificates is like yeah I warned so and so about Colonel of Wisdom about her nasty tactics and how she likes to start trouble and start shit and everything and just so that everybody can be aware of what a bad person you are Colonel but um would you like me to remind everyone how you tried that same stunt with um, somebody who we were all uh, mutually subscribed to you and a number of your little nasty click myself and Colonel of Wisdom and how when you saw how this person was actually interacting with Colonel of Wisdom in a very respectful manner without shouting her down or without calling her names and that likewise Colonel of Wisdom was having pleasant conversations with her, with this person also and that the respect was mutual uh, do you want me to pull up again the message that this person sent to Colonel of Wisdom's private inbox exposing you and your gang of thugs as having gotten hyper pissed off at the fact that this person would interact cordially and respectfully with Colonel of Wisdom and so you and your gang of fed it rotten crotches simultaneously unsubscribed from this person based on that alone based on the fact that this person was a black woman who got along with another black woman who talked about black women's issues and talked about them without pulling any punches. Yet, you want to call Colonel of Wisdom the psycho. You want to call Colonel of Wisdom the emotional one. You want to call Colonel of Wisdom the shit starter. Hmm? So as I said, keep talking, Kara, or General Fat Ass. Keep exposing yourself. Keep getting called out on your lies and having your dirty, nasty tactics exposed for the whole world to see. 
because Colonel keeps telling me, General, let it drop. Leave psychos alone. And I keep telling her, no, because you do not allow a liar to control the conversation and to spread the lies without the lies being challenged. Because if you do that, their lies become the truth. And once their lies start to spread and everybody starts to believe them, nothing you can say or do later is ever going to repair the damage. So you have to confront these shit starters absolutely immediately. And you have to do it with documentable evidence backing you up. Which, again, is why I document everything. Because nobody's going to slander me, my name, my character, or my reputation in here. Nobody. If I'm wrong, show me where I'm wrong. And if after examining what you present, I come to the realization that I'm wrong, I will admit to the wrong. But if you're lying and you're spreading vicious false rumors, you better expect to be called out on it. Publicly. As I said, say whatever you want within your own little private little clique on your private little channel. But the instant you make it public, it's on. And since you want to keep general fat ass up in order to keep taking public swipes at me, well here you go. You just got some more of the S thing that you keep asking for. All the while talking about I'm not doing anything, say anything to them, I'm not doing anything, I'm not bothering them, and I didn't do anything to them for a whole year. And then I brought to your attention again, uh, what about this channel where uh, it's intended to insult me and intimidate me and um, which you conveniently use to keep taking swipes at me and dropping diss comments about me? Well, I tried to call it off. I tried to let us all go our ways. I wanted to see it, and I offered you a chance for us to let it all end, and, and you didn't take me up on my offer. That's right, I didn't. Because it was a phony request, as I exposed in detail. See, you wanted to let stuff go, but you didn't want to let it go on honorable terms. Even if you were sincere. I don't know, I doubt if you were sincere. But let's just go on the presumption that you were sincere. You were not a person of enough character to where you'd say, hey, okay, let's end this. I'm tired of all this backbiting, all this stuff, and it's not getting us anywhere. It's not producing productive of anything. Let's just go ahead and call it quits. I would have come right back to you, and I would have said, okay, let's agree to let this thing drop. You've said your piece. I've said mine. We both got our emotional little vents out of the way. Yeah, it would be nice to have a little peace and quiet away from this nonsense. But see, you had to do it disingenuously. Just like the sneaky, conniving, coward, and bitter bitch that you were, you knew damn well that I took great issue with your general fat-ass channel to where I said, look, if you were sincere about this, you would have gotten rid of this channel a long time ago. If you were truly sincere about this, you would take this channel down and essentially keep my name and Colonel's name out of your neck. And even if, even if you had every intention of ending this quote-unquote beef, you had to get all sneaky about it. You had to get all dirty about it. You had to do it in a way where you took one last final swipe at me by making the request on the Dis Mock channel. Not your own channel, which you still had publicly available. See, you had no character. You had no real decency about yourself because you were not sincere. That's why I told you I was going to keep coming after you. I said, I'm going to set the record straight because there's some lies that I still haven't addressed which need to be corrected. And then once that's out of the way, if you want this stuff to drop, fine. But you didn't want that. So again, welcome to the flash flood that I bring to the desert. As I kept telling you repeatedly, if you really want this to end, you can end it all now. But as I kept calling you and I kept calling you correct, you're a masochist. You don't want it to end. If you honestly and truly wanted it to end, just three things you need to do, and it'll be over forever. Apologize for all the lies and all the vicious slanders and all the vicious personal attacks that you launched. You apologize, you take down the mock disc channel, and from this moment on, keep my name out of your neck. And all the videos that I have up exposing you and refuting your every lie and your every falsehood, they'll disappear too. If that's what you want, that's how you'll get it. Do you want it? Do you really want it? 
You know the same question General Fat Ass asked me in a video upload entitled What Do You Really Want? And I responded with a video of my own detailing exactly what I really wanted which is the exact same thing I've just said here. But you don't care. You're not genuine and you're not sincere. So there you go. Want more red ass? You know what to do and how to get it because you keep doing it. And I keep telling you for as long as you want your ass to burn, I'll be standing right behind you, ready to crack the whip. End of line.